General Xantor, the humans have launched an asteroid at us, shouted Lieutenant Creel, his voice trembling with fear. General Xantor stood in the command center of Zerion, a holographic display casting a blue glow across his stern features. The bustling city outside, known for its harmony and technological marvels, now faced an unprecedented threat. Lieutenant Creel burst in, his voice trembling. General Xantor, the humans have launched an asteroid at us. Xantor's eyes narrowed as he scrutinized the display. The asteroid's trajectory was clear, if not intercepted, it would devastate Zerion. He turned to his advisors, who had gathered quickly, their faces mirroring his concern. Is this an act of war? One advisor asked, his voice edged with fear. Xantor raised a hand, silencing the room. We need answers before jumping to conclusions. Lieutenant, gather all relevant data. We need to know everything about this asteroid. As the room buzzed with activity, Xantor's mind raced. He couldn't believe that the humans, with whom they had maintained a fragile peace, would launch such an attack without provocation. There had to be another explanation. His gaze shifted to the hologram, the silent menace of the asteroid looming large. Prepare a message to Earth, he ordered. We need to communicate with their leadership immediately. The scene transitioned to Earth where Lucas Reed sat in a high-tech briefing room at the central government headquarters. The news of the asteroid had just reached them, causing a stir among the officials. Lucas, a renowned scientist and diplomat. An asteroid? Launched by us? Lucas's disbelief was evident. This has to be a mistake. President Samantha Lee looked at him, her expression grave. It's no mistake, Lucas. The trajectory and signatures confirm it. We need to find out how and why. Lucas nodded. I'll start with our space agencies. There has to be an explanation. Meanwhile, on Zerion, General Xantor prepared to send his best spy, Nira, to Earth. He briefed her on the situation, emphasizing the need for discretion and urgency. Nira, we need to uncover the truth. If this is a deliberate act, we must prevent a war. If it's a misunderstanding, we need to resolve it quickly. Nira, a skilled and resourceful operative, nodded. I'll find out what's going on, General. You can count on me. As Nira's spacecraft departed for Earth, Xantor watched from the command center, his mind filled with concern. The stakes were high, and the future of both worlds hinged on their next actions. Lucas, on Earth, delved into his investigation. He visited the space agency, where he met with various officials and reviewed launch records. The more he dug, the more inconsistencies he found. It was clear that the asteroid launch wasn't sanctioned by any known human authority. Amid his investigation, Lucas received a message from Nira. They arranged a secretive meeting at a secluded location. As Nira landed discreetly, Lucas approached, wary but hopeful. You're Nira? Lucas asked, extending a hand. Yes. Naira replied, shaking his hand firmly. I'm here to find out why your people have launched an asteroid at my home. Lucas sighed. I don't believe we did. There's something else at play here. Together, they shared their findings and theories. Nira revealed that initial scans suggested advanced technology manipulation, something beyond human or Xerion capabilities. Lucas mentioned rumors of a third-party involvement but lacked concrete proof. Their collaboration began in earnest. They scoured databases, interviewed key personnel, and followed leads that led them deeper into a web of deception. The picture that emerged was disturbing. The Trellians, a secretive and technologically advanced race, seemed to be manipulating events from the shadows. Nira and Lucas discovered hidden communications and anomalous data that pointed directly to the Trellians. The implications were clear. The Trellians sought to incite conflict between humans and Zerians, likely to weaken both for their gain. As they pieced together their findings, Dr. Max Henderson, a scientist who had stumbled upon parts of the Trellian plan during his research, joined them. His insights and technical expertise provided the final pieces of the puzzle. But just as they were about to secure their evidence, disaster struck. Trellian agents, having caught wind of their investigation, launched an attack. Nira, Lucas, and Dr. Henderson barely escaped, seeking refuge in a hidden underground facility. Breathing heavily, Lucas turned to Nira. 
We need to get this information to President Lee and General Zantor. There are only hope of stopping this. Nira nodded, her resolve steely. We will. But first, we need to ensure we're not followed. Just as Nira's message was sent, an alert sounded. Trellian agents had traced their location, forcing them to flee once again, with their lives hanging in the balance, and the truth just within reach. Nira's spacecraft hurtled through Earth's atmosphere, landing smoothly in a remote clearing. She emerged, her eyes scanning the dense forest. Lucas Reed stood waiting, his expression a mix of caution and curiosity. You're Nira? Lucas asked, extending a hand. Yes, and you're Lucas, Nira replied, shaking his hand firmly. We don't have much time. We need to move quickly. They moved deeper into the forest, away from prying eyes. The initial tension between them eased slightly as they discussed their shared goal of preventing interstellar conflict. What have you found so far? Lucas inquired, glancing around to ensure they were alone. Nira pulled out a small holographic device, projecting images of the asteroid and intercepted Trellian communications. These signals don't match any known human or Xerion technology. They're Trellian. Lucas frowned, absorbing the information. So, it wasn't us. We need to prove this and expose the Trellian's plan. Lucas led Nira to an underground facility where Dr. Max Henderson was waiting. The scientist's eyes lit up with recognition as he saw the images. I've seen this before, Dr. Henderson said, pointing to the trajectory data. There are subtle manipulations here, adjustments too precise for human tech. We need more than just suspicions, Lucas interjected. We need concrete evidence to present to President Lee. Nira nodded. I've already begun gathering more data. There's a secret Trellian outpost on Mars. We need to infiltrate it. The trio prepared for the mission, each aware of the risks, but driven by the urgency of their task. Under the cover of night, they departed for Mars, their spacecraft cloaked to avoid detection. The Martian landscape was barren, but Nira's intel led them to a hidden entrance. Inside, they navigated through dark, narrow corridors, avoiding patrols. Nira's expertise in espionage proved invaluable guiding them past security measures with ease. They reached a control room filled with Trellian technology. Dr. Henderson quickly hacked into the systems, downloading crucial files. As they examined the data, it became clear the Trellians had orchestrated the asteroid launch to incite war between Earth and Xerion. We've got them, Lucas whispered triumphantly. Suddenly, alarms blared. The Trellians had discovered their presence. Nira, Lucas, and Dr. Henderson raced through the facility, dodging laser fire and outmaneuvering guards. This way, Nira shouted, leading them to an emergency exit. They burst out onto the Martian surface, their hearts pounding. Their spacecraft awaited, engines ready. They boarded and took off, escaping the Trellian outpost just as it went into full lockdown. Back on Earth, they knew time was running out. They had to present their findings to President Samantha Lee before the Trellians could cover their tracks. Arranging a meeting with the president was no easy task. Political red tape and skepticism about their claims slowed their progress. Finally, through Lucas's connections and Nira's determination, they secured a meeting. In a high-security conference room, President Lee sat across from them, her expression stern. Make your case, she said, folding her hands on the table. Lucas and Nira took turns explaining the evidence, showing the downloaded files and intercepted communications. Dr. Henderson provided technical explanations confirming the authenticity of the data. As the presentation continued, President Lee's initial skepticism began to wane. She leaned forward, examining the holographic images and data closely. This is compelling, she finally said, her tone thoughtful. If what you're saying is true, the Trellians are attempting to manipulate us into war. Nira nodded. We need your help to stop the asteroid and expose their plot. Just as they were about to finalize their plan, an urgent message came through the president's communication device. Trellian agents had infiltrated Earth's defense systems, posing an immediate threat to the mission's success. We've been compromised, President Lee said, her face set with determination. We need to neutralize this threat now. Nira, Lucas and Dr. Henderson had narrowly escaped the ambush by Trellian agents. Now, 
they found themselves in a dimly lit underground facility, hidden from prying eyes. The air was thick with tension as they regrouped, planning their next critical steps. We can't stay here long, Nira said, her voice steady despite the urgency. The Trellians know we're on to them. We need to move fast. Lucas nodded, wiping sweat from his brow. We need to get this evidence to President Lee. She's our best shot at stopping this. Dr. Henderson spread out the documents and data pads on the table. We have everything we need to prove the Trellian involvement. The question is, how do we get it to her without getting intercepted again? Nira's eyes flickered with determination. We need to use a secure channel, one they can't trace. Lucas, do you have access to any classified communication lines? Lucas thought for a moment. There's a secure diplomatic line we can use, but we have to reach the embassy first. The trio quickly packed up their evidence, each movement calculated and efficient. They couldn't afford another close call. As they prepared to leave, Nira placed a reassuring hand on Lucas's shoulder. We can do this. Navigating the maze-like streets of the city, they made their way to the embassy, avoiding known surveillance hotspots. The journey was fraught with peril, each corner potentially hiding another threat. At the embassy's secure entrance, Lucas keyed in a code, and they slipped inside. The interior was a stark contrast to the chaos outside, a sanctuary of order and protocol. Lucas led them to a secure room, where he activated the encrypted communication line. President Samantha Lee's holographic image flickered to life. Her eyes widened as she saw Lucas, Naira, and Dr. Henderson. What's the situation, Lucas? Madam President, Lucas began, his tone grave. We've uncovered evidence that the asteroid heading for Zerion is part of a Trellian plot. They're trying to incite war between humans and Zerians. Dr. Henderson stepped forward, displaying the documents. We have intercepted Trellian communications and found manipulation traces on the asteroid's trajectory. They want us to fight each other, not them. President Lee's face hardened. This is serious. We need to act swiftly to prevent a catastrophe. What's your plan? Nira spoke up. We need to neutralize the Trellian agents on Earth and secure the asteroid. We have a small window to redirect it. President Lee nodded. I'll mobilize a special ops team to assist you. Stay safe and keep me updated. With the president's support, the trio felt a renewed sense of purpose. They prepared for their mission, each detail meticulously planned. Lucas briefed the special ops team, emphasizing the importance of their task. The team moved out under the cover of darkness, their steps silent and determined. They infiltrated the facility where the Trellian agents were believed to be hiding. The tension was palpable as they navigated the narrow corridors, every sense on high alert. Suddenly, a noise echoed down the hall. Naira signaled for silence, and they pressed against the walls, blending into the shadows. Two Trellian agents appeared, speaking in hushed tones. Nira moved with the grace of a predator, swiftly neutralizing one agent while Lucas and Dr. Henderson took down the other. The team pushed forward, reaching the control room where the Trellians were operating. The control room was a hive of activity, Trellian agents working feverishly at their stations. Lucas and his team burst in, weapons drawn. A fierce battle ensued, but the humans fought with a desperate resolve, knowing what was at stake. Dr. Henderson accessed the main console, his fingers flying over the controls. I've found the asteroid's command protocols. I can redirect it, but I need time. Nira and Lucas held off the Trellians, their movements synchronized and efficient. The room filled with the sounds of struggle, but they were resolute. Dr. Henderson finally shouted, Got it! With a final command, the asteroid's trajectory was altered. Relief washed over the team as the immediate threat was averted. They secured the remaining Trellian agents, ensuring no further interference. Back at the embassy, they reconnected with President Lee. The asteroid has been redirected, Lucas reported. The Trellians are in custody. President Lee's face broke into a rare smile. Well done. This could have ended very differently without your bravery and quick thinking. General Zantor appeared on another screen, his expression one of gratitude. Zirian owes you a debt we can never repay. This alliance between our worlds is now stronger than ever. In the days that followed, Earth and Zerion worked together to dismantle the Trellian network. Lucas, Naira, 
and Dr. Henderson were hailed as heroes, their actions a testament to the power of cooperation and truth. A mysterious, encrypted message appeared on Lucas's console, warning of a new unknown threat lurking in the shadows, setting the stage for future adventures. The command center was abuzz with activity. Screens flickered with data, and voices overlapped in a chaotic symphony of urgency. General Zantor, his face stern but determined, coordinated with President Lee via a secure holographic link. All teams, report status, Zantor commanded, his voice cutting through the noise. Ground team ready, Lucas Reed responded, adjusting his headset. Beside him, Nira double-checked their equipment, her eyes sharp and focused. Let's move, she said, and they exited the command center, heading towards the Trellian stronghold. As they moved through the underground corridors, Lucas felt the weight of responsibility pressing down on him. Every step they took was crucial, and there was no room for error. The stakes were higher than ever. Reaching the entrance of the Trellian hideout, Lucas and Nira paused. We go in fast and quiet, Nira whispered, her hand on her blaster. Lucas nodded. Stay sharp. They entered, moving silently through the dimly lit tunnels. Suddenly, a Trellian guard appeared. Nira acted swiftly, taking him down with a precise shot. The guard crumpled to the floor without a sound. Clear, she whispered, and they continued deeper into the hideout. In the heart of the Trellian base, they found a room filled with complex machinery. Dr. Henderson was already at work, hacking into the systems to disable the Trellian's control over Earth's defenses. How's it going? Lucas asked, keeping watch at the door. Almost there, Dr. Henderson muttered, his fingers flying over the keyboard. Just then, a group of Trellian soldiers burst in, weapons drawn. Lucas and Nyra sprang into action, engaging in a fierce firefight. The air was thick with tension as they exchanged shots, each blast echoing through the room. Cover me! Lucas shouted, firing at the advancing enemies. Nira moved swiftly, her movements a blur as she took down one Trellian after another. Dr. Henderson worked frantically, beads of sweat forming on his forehead. Got it! He exclaimed finally, and the room's lights flickered as the Trellian's control system shut down. Let's go! Lucas yelled, and they made their way to the surface, where a shuttle awaited to take them to the asteroid's control center. As they ascended, Lucas looked out at the star-filled sky. We're not done yet, he said, determination in his voice. At the control center, a team of engineers and scientists was ready. Nira and Dr. Henderson immediately got to work reprogramming the asteroid's trajectory. We have limited time, Dr. Henderson said, his voice tight with concentration. We need to reroute it now. Nira's hands moved deftly over the controls. Almost there, she said, her eyes focused. Lucas monitored the screens, watching the asteroid's path shift gradually. The tension in the room was palpable. Come on, come on, he muttered under his breath. A sudden alert blared. What's happening? Lucas asked, his heart pounding. One of the systems is failing, Dr. Henderson replied. We need to stabilize it or we won't make it in time. Lucas sprang into action, using his engineering background to assist. Try rerouting the power from auxiliary systems, he suggested. Nira nodded, quickly implementing his idea. The asteroid's path began to correct itself, veering away from Zirion. The room erupted in cheers as the immediate threat was averted. Back at the command center, General Zantor and President Lee addressed their respective worlds. The relief in their voices was evident as they announced the success of the mission and the exposure of the Trellian's plot. This marks a new chapter in our alliance, President Lee declared. Together, we have overcome a great challenge. General Zantor nodded. May this be the beginning of a lasting peace between our peoples. Lucas stood on a balcony overlooking the bustling city of Zirion. Beside him, Nero watched the sunrise, a symbol of hope and new beginnings. We did it, Lucas said softly, a sense of accomplishment washing over him. Nira smiled. Yes, we did. But there's always more to do. Lucas nodded, reflecting on the journey they had taken. At least we know we can face whatever comes next, together. As they turned to leave, Lucas received a message on his communicator. It was from Dr. Henderson, containing data on new anomalies detected in another part of the galaxy. Looks like our work isn't done yet, Lucas said, showing the message to Naira. 
she chuckled. It never is. But that's what makes it worth doing.